Volume 2, Number 8. The Family Fun Project that was put on hold is now officially launching. Grace, as promised, told Elijah that she would do the family podcast. Elijah is excited. Mom, thank you so much for doing this podcast. You're welcome. As they begin the broadcast, they are prepping for the notes that they're going to do the broadcast. They hope it is as successful as the first broadcast. Listen, Jenny, as everybody gathers into the green room, we have to have our notes together and prepare for the broadcast. It's going to be a short broadcast, I must admit, because it doesn't upload very easily on TikTok. I know, said Jenny, I have a TikTok on my app on my phone. Oh, you do, Jenny, said Mom. Michael's excited, too. As Grandma Yoko showed us, says, so how are we going to do this? We're going to do it the same way we did last time, said Grace. I'm going to open up with the interviews, and we're going to interview Grandma and Grandpa, and we're going to interview the kids. As the baby's sleeping right now, we're just going to do the broadcast just like we did, Elijah. Elijah's my sidekick. Yes, Mom, I'm your sidekick. Do you have any topics that you want to discuss? You can discuss whatever is on your mind. Do you want to discuss what your favorite subject is at school or dance? Yes, said Jenny. I want to discuss dance. Listen, we have the whole weekend to work on this. If you want to work on it today, we can work on it tonight. It's a Saturday project. So this is a perfect day to do this. Since dad is off and mom you're free to do this. Let's get it started. Okay, make sure you have your water so you can wet your whistle. Okay, sounds good. Let's get started. I'll open up and I'll give you a cue, okay? Sounds great, Mom, said Elijah. I love you, Mom, for doing this. You promised you would do this and you came through for me, Mom, said Elijah. What are we going to talk about? Do you have your atlas? Do you want to talk about science and your favorite teacher? Yeah, Mr. Miller. And Michael's perked up. He says, I know his future wife. In fact, they're getting married this weekend. I know Mr. Miller's going to be gone Monday. He's going to be engaged and married by the end of the weekend. Oh, I know. He's not going to be in. There's going to be a substitute teacher on Monday, said Elijah. I know, I heard the whole story from his fiance, his future wife. In fact, they're probably married by now, said Michael to Elijah. Oh, wow, that's so great. He has a wife now. Yeah, that's a great story, story that's unfolding as we speak. Okay, let's get the, let's get the show on the road, as they call it. Okay, so the broadcast begins by me introducing all the people in the interview like we did the last time. Okay, said Jenny. Now, who are we going to interview? Well, we're going to interview Grandma and Grandpa, Grandma Yoko Shoto, and we're going to interview Elijah and Jenny. How's that? And then, of course, Dad. Okay, sounds good. What about you, Mom? Well, I'm the one that's running the show, so I'm going to do the interviewing. Okay, Mom. Sounds good. You ready to start? Dad does the countdown to the Planet Radio? Yeah, that's perfect. It's like launching a show. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. We're launching Planet Radio. Okay, get your best radio voice on and let's do this. Okay. Ready, Dad? Ready to launch Planet Radio? Let's do this. It's like we're launching a rocket ship in the planet. That's so great, Mom, said Elijah. That's exactly the point. Let's get ready to launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're on air. And welcome to Planet Radio. And I'm your guest host, 
My name is Grace Smithton, and I'm going to be interviewing my family at Planet Radio. We are open mic night, and we're going to interview the kids today and my family as well. First, we're going to talk about signs and the sun, moon, and stars, and all the things we're learning in science class in sixth grade at St. John's. And my first guest is Elijah. Elijah, welcome to the show. Hi, my name is Elijah Smithton, and I'm learning a lot about science. I couldn't tell you all the topics that we're covering right now because we're just starting out as school just began. Oh, I understand, Elijah. That's a lot to learn at all at once. So tell me just one thing that you like about your science class. Well, first off, I can't help but tell you I like my teacher. He's getting married this weekend. Oh, yes. That's a big story in itself. So what do you like about science class? Well, I love learning about science and the planets, mostly. That's my favorite subject. Every time we talk about the planets and the, the way the planets move in orbit, especially around the sun, it's a very big, broad topic. Yes, it is. Elijah, thank you for your time. As we move to the next person, we're going to interview Jenny. Jenny, welcome to the show. Jenny's my daughter. She is in dance class and she's also interested in playing the violin from what I understand. Yes, mom. Welcome to the show, Jenny. So your interest in violin just was recent. Yes, I have an interest in playing an instrument. I just recently became more interested in playing a violin over the summer months. Oh, wow. So we need to look into this more. Yes, mom. Yes, dad. Okay. So the violin is the next goal in mind is what you're saying. Yes. So tell me more about dance. You said in the last segment, you love dancing under the stars. Is that something you still want to pursue? Yes, of course. Zio is the inspiration behind my dance because Zio was a dancer and that was my mom. As you know, I am adopted by Grace and Michael. Grace and Michael are my parents. And I thank God for my parents because my parents are, helped raise me and take, have helped me go to a better school and have a better life. Just like Elijah being my brother, we both have a better life. And my grandma, Yoko Shoda, is my biological grandmother, who is now the interview is up next. Thank you, Jenny, for that interview. Thank you for interviewing me, Mom. I appreciate your time. And up next is Mrs. Yokoshoto, the grandmother of both Elijah and Jenny. Miss Yokoshoto, welcome to the show. Hi, and thank you so much for this time. As you know, we're Japanese descent, and we have time to explore the sciences. We love science and we love the idea of Planet Radio being the base of our family fun night. As you know, Elijah has been very interested in doing this broadcast. And we love the sciences. We love to, to explore. We love to do adventures. And this is just a great adventure for us. Exactly, Miss Yokoshoto. This is exactly right. Of course, the wise men of the East went to Bethlehem and they came far away to see the manger and they followed the North Star all the way to see baby Jesus be born. And that is an amazing story in itself about the wise men that came with incense, frankincense and myrrh and all the things and the treasures from the Far East. So there's a story right there about the Far East. And I believe that that was a story that has another story that needs to be told about baby Jesus, how baby Jesus was born in the manger with Mary and Joseph and the shepherds that heard the sheep that night. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Yokoshoto, for sharing that story. And up next is none other than my husband and dad, and, and also provider of all these things that we do, my husband, Michael. Hi, Michael. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you for inviting me to the show. 
What do I have to say? Well, listen, I learn a lot from the kids and I learn a lot from everybody. So I just kind of sit back and observe. That's okay. You don't have to know everything about, about everything. Well, I'm learning. I learn a lot from Elijah. His baseball career has been I'm not mentioned in this, but they, one of the things that Elijah has done is he accomplished something really great this summer. He became an all-star this year. Thank you, Dad, said Elijah. Yeah, you're welcome. Something that also Jenny's accomplished is that she's an accomplished dancer. If Jenny wants to put her dancing career on hold for violin, she's welcome to it, but I think she should pursue both. If she wants to pursue dance and music, she's welcome to it. I just don't want her to overwhelm her schedule. The thing is, as a father, we have another baby in the house and Grace just had a baby boy named Michael. And we have a full house now and we have additional nannies to assist. So we have a big house and Planet Radio was put on hold because of the baby. And during the All-Star game, we were planning on doing more Planet Radio. But because of the baby and all the things that had happened in the course of things, we haven't been able to do another segment. So I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Michael, for that time that you got to share this. And we have two more people up next in this interview. And that's Grandma Adrian and Grandpa Tom up next in the interview. Come on over, Grandma Adrian. Uh, I just have a few words to share. It's so wonderful to share this time together as a family. We don't get enough time to do this as a family. I wish we could do Planet Radio more often. The last time it went viral from what I understand now. I didn't even know what viral meant, but now I do. Mm -hmm. As the kids explained it to me, but it's good to be here and I'm enjoying the show and I'm enjoying this family time. Thank you, Grandma Adrian. And now up and finally next is Grandpa Tom. Grandpa Tom, what do you think of the show and broadcast so far? Well, since I'm the last interview, I just want to say thank you for inviting me to the show. I have to tell you, like Grandma Adrian said, and also what Michael said, it's a wonderful journey for everybody learning about the planet and the stars and the sky, according to the Bible and everything that we're learning about the stars and the sky and the warnings, especially that blood moon when we were on the camping trip. It was a really interesting story that I didn't even know about the soon return of Jesus Christ. It was not known to me how important it is to watch for the signs of the soon return of the Lord, but I didn't know and understand these things until I was taught about it in Bible class. So there's a lot of things about the sun, moon, and stars, according to Matthew 24, that I didn't understand. And I'm just coming to understand it now. But the planets in the solar system is a very significant study. It's something that's more advanced. But when I listen to Elijah tell it from his perspective on an elementary level, it's easy enough to understand for a child. And I want to learn from his understanding about what it is to know about the solar system. And Planet Radio is a great platform to learn from. Thank you so much, Grandpa Tom. You've taught me so much in just a short time. Well, that's it for the broadcast. And I'm Grace. And what do I have to share to add to the broadcast is that I've learned so much from all of you about what you all shared in this interview and this family broadcast. I want to thank you for the time that you each shared in the interview and the short time that you've gotten a time to share. And this family broadcast, I hope, is not only interesting, but intrigues other people to do this at home. It's a family fun project for each of us. And as I end this broadcast, I want to take the time to thank each of you who've joined in in sharing this broadcast with others. Thank you again. And as we are signing off, thank you, thank you, thank you. Say so long for now here as we end this broadcast here at Planet Radio with the Smithton family. Good night. 
as the broadcast ends. They are so excited. This was a better broadcast than the last broadcast, said Miss Yokoshoto. I think we did fantastic, said Elijah. Thank you, Mom. You did as promised. I know. My mouth is so dry from the conversation. I can't believe how much work it takes to get this off the ground, but it really is a successful broadcast, said Elijah. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mom. It's so good. It's so good to do this. The work that goes into what you're doing is phenomenal, Mom. I'm so grateful. I'm so positive that we're going to get a good response, especially from people that watch the broadcast at school. Well, they're actually listening to radio. It's a podcast. You understand, honey? Yes, I understand, said Jenny. I understand too, said Elijah. So what do you think, Grandma and Grandpa? Uh, I think we did phenomenal. I think uh, Grandpa Tom said it best. There's a lot of biblical things that we haven't even touched on. Like what, said Elijah? What does it mean in Matthew 24? Well, what it says is in, in the Bible that there's going to come a time that the sun, moon, and stars are going to show signs of the soon return of the Lord. And that the soon return of the Lord will be revelation, a revelation of things to come. And it's like a warning sign of the wrath of the earth. God's wrath is upon, will come upon the earth at some point. We don't know when, but it will happen soon. And Jesus will come to interrupt things for a short time. And then we will be, if we will escape these things. It says, pray that we escape the times we live in. Wow, I didn't know that, said Elijah. So we pray that we escape the times before the wrath of God. Yes, that's what we do. That's why we pray. We pray daily. Remember to wear the full armor of God daily, according to Ephesians 6.10. Yeah, we pray daily, said Elijah. Yes, mom, said Jenny. We will see your mom soon, as Jesus could come anytime. I understand that. That's very important. It's so important to understand this important event is going to happen very soon. And as we know that this time is coming, we know that the soon return of the Lord is coming quickly. Wow, said Mrs. Yokoshoto. I did not know. I had no understanding of this until Tom talked about this. So Jesus could come quickly. Yes, it'll come like a thief in the night as we understand it. Now, listen, we're not Bible scholars or anything. We're just mere people. We have a best basic understanding of this. But as long as we have an understanding of this and we have Jesus in our heart and we've been saved and spared and we've repented for our sins, and everybody here has repented for their sins and knows Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, we are saved from the wrath of God because the wrath that's coming upon this earth, it'll be like unlike anything that we've ever known. It's called tribulation in its seven years of dark times. It's called seven years of tribulation for a reason. So we should know that we live in times right now that are leading up to the seven years of tribulation. There's going to be things that are going to ramp up to lead up to the seven years of tribulation. So how do we know when we're coming close? Well, we're watching for the signs of the soon return of the Lord, but there is no sign specifically that says that when Jesus comes, Jesus comes like this in a twinkling of an eye. That's what it says. Jesus is just going to come and get us is what it says in the Bible, said Elijah. That's what we learned in Bible school. Well, I'm so glad they teach you in Bible school about this, Elijah and Jenny, because you need to know. You will see soon your, your mother in heaven. Yes, that's exactly right, said Mrs. Yokoshoda. We will see Zio soon. She believed in Jesus. And that's the true nature of the story is that she's asleep in heaven and she's going to be she's with the lord now that's so beautiful that's wonderful 
what a wonderful way to really put it too. So what do you else should we talk about? I wish we could do another broadcast at Elijah, but I think we did enough for tonight. Yeah, it's time. It's a later broadcast, but let's see if we upload it and see what reaction we get. Do you want to upload it, Elijah? Yes, let's upload it and see what response we get. I wonder how this will go on Instagram and TikTok, said Jenny. Well, we won't know until we upload it. So we'll inst we'll upload it and see how it goes, said Elijah. Okay, go ahead. Let's upload it and see how it goes. So they upload up the video and they see the Instagram account that Elijah uploads it. He has a bunch of followers on his Instagram and TikTok account. Well, Mom, so far we're getting a response. It's all positive, too. Everybody likes what we have to share and say. Oh, that's great. So far, so good. That's excellent news. I love the fact that we're getting a response and it's all positive, Mom. Well, we should see more responses as time goes on, too. That's great, said Michael. I'm very happy. Miss Yoko showed us so excited. You mean we're actually getting a positive response? Yes. Well, make sure you get your pajamas on and we'll watch we'll just watch and follow the responses. Get your pajamas on because the kids, the babies have to get ready for bed. I got to kiss the babies goodnight. Melissa and Josiah have had no attention and they've been with the sitters the whole time while we've been doing the broadcast. So I need to spend some time with Melissa and Josiah. So Ma Grace goes in to spend some time with Melissa and Josiah. And she relieves the babysitters for a short time as the kids go upstairs to get their night clothes on okay so as grace spends a little time with melissa and josiah and plays with them before bed she gets them ready for bed as well she needs to spend time with her kids is what she needs to do and she gets them ready for bed but they're too tired to stay up and play as they're nodding off grace tucks josiah and then tucks Melissa into bed and kisses them goodnight and says a little prayer. Michael follows in with Grace. It's hard to divvy up my time with my kids, but I needed to do that for Elijah and Jenny. I need to spend more time with Michael and right now because the baby needs fed. So yeah, you're going to just have to divide your time up with the kids, but I needed to spend time with Elijah and Jenny to do this broadcast, to get this out of the way. You did the right thing, said Gr Michael to Grace. Yeah, I did this for specific reasons. So what's going on with you, Michael? Well, the quarterly report is up and ready to go, and it looks like our numbers are pretty good. So I'm going to go in and get this quarterly report ready to go. I'm kind of waiting for the middle of the month. So I'm waiting until mid-October to get the quarterly report ready to go. So it looks like we're closer and closer to getting something accomplished. I think mid-October is the better way to go as it is closer to mid-October now. So now that the baby's starting to look like a, a baby instead of a newborn, how do you feel? Well, the baby's growing so much because of the breast milk. I think that has a lot to do with it. Are you feeling a lot better? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more healed. All right, okay, that's good, Grace. I'm gonna get the baby ready for bed. So as the rest of the kids, I gotta go check on Elijah and Jenny too. Let's do that, said Michael, as they check in and Elijah and Jenny are fast asleep. They kiss them goodnight and say a prayer over the kids. That was a great night. I think you did the right thing, Grace. It was a great broadcast. Yeah, it really was. Mom and dad came in and they said their good nights and said a little prayer for the kids. Listen, we're headed home for the night, said mom and dad. Thank you for that broadcast. As Mrs. Yokoshoda made her way upstairs as well. She said, it was so wonderful. It was a wonderful broadcast. 
They went right to sleep. I guess they got worn out. Yeah, we can wear them out easily. But that was a perfect time, said Grace. Well, Miss Yokoshoda said, I'm ready to turn in myself. It's almost 9.30, so I got to watch my show and go to bed myself. Okay, Miss Yokoshoda, it was nice talking to you. As Jessica is upstairs, and they just peeked in. They said, Jessica, is everything okay? Yeah, everything's okay. Thank you very much. As Marcy was leaving for the night. They were relieving Marcy for the night because they didn't need any help from Marcy. Thank you, Marcy, for being here. It's great being with all of you. Thank you. We just need one person for the night tonight. If you could relieve Jessica in the morning, that would be perfect. Okay, that's great. I will be here in the morning. Perfect. Jackie can have the day off, and we'll make sure that you can have the day off, and Jackie will relieve you. Okay, great. We'll work it out somehow, Marcy. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow. So it being 930, Vanessa was on the mind of Michael as she was officially married. She got a text message from Vanessa. It's official. I'm married, said Vanessa as she texted Michael. And Michael wanted to talk to Grace about the wedding gift. So what kind of wedding gift should I get Vanessa and Mr. Miller now that Vanessa is officially Vanessa Miller? Why don't we give her money and a candle, like the candle that you bought me? That's a great idea, said Michael. They need money. How about let's give them $300 and a candle? That's a great idea. I think we'll do that. So in the morning, we'll go to the store and we'll get a candle and we'll go down to Yankee Candle and we'll get the money out of the deposit. Or withdraw. I'm sorry, withdrawal, said Michael. Okay, I know you're tired, Michael. Let's get some sleep. The baby's already sleeping. So, okay, we'll be ready for Monday morning. Well, she's not coming back till Tuesday. That's fine. As the days progressed, everything was situated for Tuesday as they knew they had the wedding gift. As... Vanessa Miller was now officially married. They saw Vanessa at the desk. Are you ready for training, said Vanessa to Michael. Yeah, Michael said, you're going to have to shadow somebody. That's the only thing, but I'd rather you just train Lindsay first, and then we'll have you shadow somebody. I'm thinking you might have to shadow somebody like Lisa Anderson for the time being. Okay. But we'll figure it out, okay, said Michael to Vanessa. So here it is. Here's your wedding gift. And she opens it up and she sees the candle. Oh, this is so beautiful. And then opens up the card. And she says, wow, thank you, Michael, so much for this gift. It is so beautiful. And I really appreciate the money. We really could use it. I knew that. Grace is the one that came up with the idea. Ah, uh, Grace is awesome. So awesome. I know it's a lot. We had a busy weekend. I know you did. Yes, I did. It was a great weekend. It was a great weekend in Las Vegas. I have to admit, getting married in a Vegas church was quite an experience. Did you take pictures? Yes, I did. I'll show you them on the phone after the meeting on Thursday. Excellent. I can't wait to see them. Vegas was quite an experience for Vanessa as Rick and Vanessa are officially married. Now it's just changing documents and doing legal stuff is what Vanessa told Michael. It's a lot of legal stuff, but it's like anything else. You have to hurdle this and hurdle that. I know, I know all about that. Been there, done it, said Michael. I understand. Well, listen, I got to get back to the office and get my notes prepared for Thursday's meeting and meet with Stephen later on. So I'll be back in the office if you need anything. If you need anything about training, just in the meantime, just train Lindsay on filling your position for today. And then I'll catch up with you by Thursday about your training. Okay, sounds good, says Vanessa Miller. It's going to be an adjustment calling you Vanessa Miller. Yeah, but get used to it, Michael. 
as everything else. We're all going through an adjustment period, including you. That's right, said Michael, an adjustment period.